driver waiting area here. Got my papers. I didn't want to film anybody in there. I mean, it'd be different if this camera wasn't a giant, I mean, a phone wasn't a giant freaking phone and it was like in their face. I don't really want to be like a dickhead or anything. So we're going to get in here. We're going to go find our, uh, our trailers. Supposedly they're supposed to be, I got spot numbers, but this place sometimes they're not there because the spot numbers, as you can see, the blacktop's deteriorating. So the spot numbers are gone sometimes. So we're gonna go drive around and try to find our trailers. ST. 
Hopefully, I'm going to line right up with the spot here when I get turned. Yes, I will. damage and whatnot. I'm gonna have to slide the tandems. Try not to fall off the cliff here. Seal number 10484. Alright. Nothing broken up there. All the lights working. These are self inflates but they're all brand new tires anyway. Please take a look, make sure the hoses on a lot of these tractor uh, slide in tandems, the zip ties break, and the, and the freaking, next thing you know, you're dragging the hose. Looks like they take pretty good care of these trailers, so. I just checked my stuff too while I'm here. All right, gonna write down there's some damage on the front right here. All right. Yeah, I'll 
say they're brand new. Still got the sticker on. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. get out and slide the tandem now. Because I'm not one of those steering wheel holders that drive around with the tandems all the way in the back. See right here? That's where you kind of want them for reference numbers. I'll probably, I'll see how much I weigh and I'll probably slide it back from there. Put the air out. On mine, 35 is pretty much somewhere around 34,000 pounds on the uh, on the tandem. So, all right, we're gonna uh, pull this baby forward and uh, slide these tandem well, back. This. That's why I was stopping to let the air come out of the bags so I could uh, get it right about at 35. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna head on out of here now. So all the trailer trailers rolling the right spot. I don't have to go back in and tell them. And uh, we're gonna go ahead to uh, Henderson, North Carolina now to Walmart. All right, when you come out of here, you scale on the way out when you're loaded. So.
sitting at 70, 76,000 pounds. I got 34 on the rear right now. Exactly 34. So I just have to, I'll pull forward and I'll slide the, uh, Yeah, I'll pull forward and I'll slide the uh, trailer tandem, I guess, uh, back one one click or two clicks. Because I only got 30,000, 30, pounds or 60 pounds on the front. Very yeah. nice. Thank you. I'll do it when I get out here on the street. I ain't gonna back up over here or do it on the scale. I only have to, like I said, go back with a tandem on the trailer one click. So. I mean, it's the weekend anyway. I get, well, eh, Virginia Scale House might be open. They, they love to have their scale houses open 24 7. 365. All right, let's come around here. Yeah, I, you guys already know how to slide tandem, so I'm just going to uh, I'll come around here and uh, I'll end this for right now. So, you'll probably see me, I don't know, take a rest stop or something somewhere. So, oh, and by the way, if you ever come out of here, don't park anywhere around here. As you saw the parking ordinance, like I said, the local guy sometimes on the weekdays comes around and gives tickets. So, so like I said, um, you know, don't park around here. Uh, let's see how I'm going to vlog this trip.
get out of the truck here. Grab my keys. I don't trust people anymore, but. <sighs> keys, wallet. Good to go. All right. Like I said, this is Rudder's. Pretty big parking lot here. I guess there's about, uh, I guess you could probably fit at least like 20, 30 trucks in here. These are all pretty new. Very clean inside. I like how they're set up. I wish Rudders actually like made it like a true truck stop, put a shower in it and stuff. We'll go in the driver entrance. Oh. Got beer here too. Oh, where's the one? It's on this side. Well, here, you know what? So you got everything like a normal truck stop does. I'd say it's a version of a quick trip. Let's go up here in the wood or something. Cheese? Oh no. We'll go back. I don't want double. I should let you pick two cheeses. White. It's toasted. Banana peppers on it. Sure, I'll cut it in half. Sauteed onions. So sure, put a little hot sauce on. Mm, pretzel or fries? Pretzel or fries? Um, I'll take fries. Cheese them. Yeah. Nah. All right. Uh, do they have any right now? I don't think they have the half and half. Sweet tea with lemon. Yeah, what the? Uh, we'll try the sweet tea with lemon. See, it's got, you got most of your normal truck driver uh, stuff, log books and stuff. So we're gonna sit here and uh, we're gonna wait for an order to be called and then we're gonna get out of here. So, all right, we got our rudders, we're gonna get out of here right now. Uh, eventually I'm gonna get a uh, Instapro 360, I guess, cause it's small. Like I said, I don't want to like walk up to people and put a camera in their face. I mean, maybe I should get a hat or something, like Jackknife TV, like YouTube channel hat or something. That way, at least people don't get too freaked out. But you know, like walking right up to people in the face, and paying for stuff. And you know, I don't know. I guess I, I just don't want to creep anybody out. So I'm gonna walk back over to the truck here, and I'm gonna finish this. 
I guess this little vlog is my little stop here. And uh, yeah, I guess next time you see me, I'm gonna be shutting down for the night. So I'm gonna uh, basically get done here, get in the truck, and uh, have me a nice cheesesteak and some french fries. So I'll catch you later.
go in that way. Turn right at the traffic light. You have to come up at his light. And go around. get out we're gonna do our, uh, our post trip walk around we'll leave the lights on and everything jump up out of here good 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 now I check these tires. Grab a flashlight. I check these tires usually once or twice a week. An actual gauge. They start looking a little low or flat when I kick them. It's usually one up. Pull, pull the tire pressure gauge out. Reefer's still good. Check the lights on the trailer. Good, good. Good. It's good, the pins are still in. Lines are all still up. Oh, the green thing's removed. I don't like that, but I guess I might get a zip tie, fix that for them. Open the hood up. Let's 
grab a glove and check the oil on this thing. I haven't had to add no oil to her for, I don't know, about 8,000 miles now. I know it is starting to go a little low. This thing leaks like a sieve all over the place, so I'm surprised it takes that long. Plus, I got blow by. Wipe her off with the glove. just about on ad so I guess I'll pick up a gallon of oil and throw a gallon in also with these older Cummins when they start to get blow by make sure you actually lock your dipstick in or you'll have oil all over the place that'll push it right out of the dipstick tube. Hop back up in the truck. Glove away. Well, like I said, we are here in... Uh, let's see if we remember trying to get the name of this place again. Uh, Rudder Glen, Virginia, at the Loves. We're going to spend the night here. I don't have to deliver till. 5:45 in the uh, in the afternoon at the Henderson uh, Walmart DC. A little jittery. I had coffee this morning, so um, like I said, there's there's the Loves here. There is the Flying J across the street, and I believe there's a Pilot on the other side. So you got. Uh, three different truck stops to choose from. They're all usually on the week weekdays. Or these place, this place is jam packed. Same with the other one. Um, I'm gonna go in and take a shower. But uh, let's kind of like recap the day. I started uh, off of 90 and 495 out by Boston. Drove to Pottsville. Dropped the trailer full of pallets off. Then picked up a load. It. That's what you see in uh, the beginning part of this video, me, me picking up the trailer and dropping the other one off. Then I picked that one up and pretty much hopped on 81 to 83 to 15 down through Washington DC here in Maryland. And uh, yeah, ended up here tonight. Uh, so that's a total of like 590 miles I did today. And I got here with about 20 minutes to spare. So on my drive clock. So yeah, that's uh that's a good day of trucking. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to take a shower if I can. I'll set it up on the app. Maybe I'll screen uh, screen mirror that and uh, show you me putting my bag together. And I guess I'll go in there and take a shower and everything. So. All right, first things first. I'm gonna get the shower bag ready here. Because uh, pretty much I want to get out out as soon as it gives me a shower. All right, so shower bag here, grab some clothes. I'm just gonna wear shorts out of here. Now, big thing you want in your shower bag, I got a pair of Crocs. You don't want your bare feet. I don't care if it's a brand new Loves or anywhere. You don't want your bare feet touch in the shower here so I got a pair of socks in there uh, socks out of my organized space here there's a shirt a pair of socks and some boxers all right it's that easy oh, let me grab my other shower bag shaver I got my toothbrush in here pretty much make sure you grab everything once because the showers I think they give you like a 10 minute 10 minute leeway when you go in there and uh, if it times out and you have to walk out 
and get something, you pretty much have to wait and get an attendant and get back in the shower. All right, so for some reason, can't order a shower. I don't know what's going on with the app. So we're just gonna go in and try to do it at the kiosk. And uh, yeah, go from there. So I got my keys, wallet. We're gonna get out of here. Trying to get ran over. Hi. Let's see here. Oh, the shower's here. I guess they're right when you come in. All right, well, apparently the app ain't working. At least for me, it ain't. I gotta go to shower six here. Oh, let's see here. Shower six, 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 six. Seven, eight. Nine pound. All right. Oh, it's a tiny one. So we're gonna set the bag down there. Set my papers there. First thing I want to do is lock this. Hang my bag up. All right, and it's that easy. And usually loves a pretty clean shower, so. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna freshen up and uh, call it a night, so toodaloo.